the question that we've been asked is uh, let's say I want to do a quick conflict check I say uh, document generation conflict screening it always allows you to choose who did it like you know who was a document prepared by where is this information actually coming from this information actually comes from contacts so in contacts whoever you put under co-worker everybody just shows up there like you know like you know Alex uh, Anatoly Courtney whoever is there in co-worker is what like like for example I would create a new contact add them as a co-worker and say uh, Jimmy uh, Henderson uh, right and just hit the save button now Ginny is now part of my co-worker group who can actually be used to create contacts so so in this case for uh, uh, Kate Kudrow, if you do a conflict screening, you can click here on the action button, say I want to do a conflict screening, right? And you can do the conflict screen, right? Like that conflict screening would actually tell you whether you really have a conflict or not. Now, once you've finished the conflict screening and you know whether there's a conflict, you obviously need to go into the matter. So that's your conflict screening. You, don't, you, you know, you don't, you don't, you have a few conflicts, but everything seems to be okay. So now what you can do is you can go into the matter and this is where you need to generate the conflict screening document. When you do that, you can say conflict screening, right? You can now click here and choose Ginny Henderson because he's the person who did the conflict and download. And when you do that, what the software will do is it'll fill in all the information about Kate. It will tell you that, hey, the lawyer or legal counsel responsible for that was like, you know, uh, who did that? Who did all the work was Ginny Henderson. And, you know, it was conflict check was prepared by him. And you could, you could just, uh, uh, you know, fill in this form. Now, remember, this form also adds all the additional parties that are responsible for this matter. Like, for example, in this matter, I have like, you know, Steffi Jones as the defendant, Stefan Edberg as the opponent. It, it puts all that information as well. So you can get other people who, who did your conflict check prepared by right here by just adding them to your coworker group inside that. Also, like, you know, if you already had someone that you created as a contact to add them to co-worker group is very simple. Click on the group button and just make them a co-worker by just clicking here. So now Abdir Singh has become another co -worker. So to summarize, by adding someone uh, to a co-worker group or creating the contact as a co-worker, you enable us to, you know, to be part of, uh, uh, um, you know, any document preparation it need not be just conflict check it could be anything like an invoice or anything like that like you know you, you can now choose uh, Abdir Singh or uh, uh, you know Ginny uh, Henderson whoever you created uh, can be part of your uh, uh, bigger part of your legal team who can actually be responsible for doing some work and you can actually assign them tasks and you can actually get them into your documentation <laughs>